Hey guys. Hey, it's the Consulate Outdoorsman. Well, we're on the way, Upper Red Lake, Minnesota. We're gonna be staying in a sleeper shack. Uh, it's supposed to be four nights and five days, we believe. And uh, we're staying with First City Guide Service. It's raining here in Gaylord right now, but uh, supposed to be some cold weather coming in. <clears throat> Hopefully the pressure doesn't drop on us and uh, doesn't turn the fish off. But man, they said the fish has been hot. All right, we'll keep you up to date in the updates. We'll see you on the lake. Well, hey gang, hey, it's the uh, end of our first day of travel. We uh, made it to our hotel. We're gonna be staying at the Country Inn and Suites by Radisson here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We ran through a pretty good snowstorm. Uh, you know what, it's not bad. It is what it is, it's what it, it's what's makes ice fishing, ice fishing, because it's winter. Um, it's kind of cold right now, so it's about seven degrees. It's supposed to be a good little cold snap coming in right now, but I think the fishing's still gonna be good. We'll be in a hard house, so we're excited. All right, well, we're gonna get locked up, get something to eat, and We'll catch you guys in the morning. We go get our bait and our license. Well, good morning, guys. Hey, we're up here at um, Fred's Bait Shop and just north of Grand Rapids, Minnesota. West. And uh, we're west of it. We are west. Okay. I thought it was a little farther north. We're headed up to Upper Red. Um, my wife and I, here's Miss Jean. We got our fishing license. So we are now official. And hopefully this, this season we won't get skunked like we did last year, get kicked out off the lake. So we got our, our bait. So they're saying they're fat heads and uh, rainbows as well. So one of the things that's a little different than where we're at, what you see normally on the channel, is that they sell them by the scoop and by the pint up here. So where we're at, we sell them by the dozen. So they said the fat heads are up. This is kind of the good one with the red hook. So um, is that what is that what you're seeing as best, the best baits? I've been hearing red and gold. Okay. Um, the buckshot spoons over here and then they're using jigging wraps also. All right, jigging wraps. Jigging right. wraps are over yep. underneath the wrap line. Yep, side. got those. We're Paula jigging wraps. We got several of those. So, hey, it's going to be a good time. I uh, hope we can break the curse and see what happens. But this is our first time really getting to fish on Upper Red. They say the bite's hot, and uh, so we'll catch you guys out. We're going to be out with First City Guide this year. So he does. A, he really took care of us last year. So, hey, guys, let's hit the hard water, and let's have a good time. Well, good afternoon. We made it to Upper Red Lake. Yeah, we're here. So we're out here on the parking lot, getting ready to head out. Uh, we're waiting on our guide. We're at Boondocks Landing. And uh, we're going out with First City Guide, Chaz Tobias. Does a great job. He's one of the top uh, outfitters out here. So you can kind of see, here's the lake, there's the ice road. So uh, there's several houses out and the crack is just right out yonder. And so they said it's healed up. They did put a bridge in. But lots of houses out. And you see way out there to the east, you see lots of houses right there. So you also had to do a um, parking pass to get out on the road. So there goes somebody going out to their house. But hey, all right, we're going to meet up with Chaz here in just a little bit. And uh, we'll give you a shout when we get out in the shack. See you in a bit.
Hey guys, well, we finally got out of our house. It is uh, the second week in December, December the 10th. And uh, we're out here in the afternoon. What a great house this is. I wanna kinda show you uh, Smoky, out, Smoky Hills Outdoor Store, Go Fish, Ice Castles, uh, FH.com. So you can kind of see that right there. What a great house this is. Uh, limited edition. This is kind of how this, how these ice castles work. They jack down on there. That right there is for your uh, number twos. They bring them out to you. Uh, run a generator. But that wind is blowing like crazy. So they just move these houses out, out here for us just today. What a gorgeous place. You see it, that first city's guy, he's got one, two, uh, three, four, five. I think he's got six houses out right now but there's people that's way out yonder this is um out in the middle and we're right on we're right on some rocks uh which is really cool so we're expecting some great fish um really neat little setup though i, I love these uh, wish i could have this one back in michigan this is way to fish though so. well guys hey it's constant outdoors and we're in our shack and uh, what a beautiful shack it is chaz has got some really classy equipment um first city guides just absolutely fantastic so we got our rods in the water. We're running dead sticks. It's Miss Jean. And we even got TV going. Looking good. All right. And, you know, this one here's got a little pizza oven, stove, uh, dish network. We got rattle wheels, what they use here. So those are pretty freaking cool. All right. Well, it's not going to, the bite hasn't been going on until later on uh, in the evening. But we're in here. We got lines in the water. And that's all we can do right there. So we just got checked by the Department of Natural Resources up here in Minnesota. We did a great job, really polite, uh, just checking for licenses, make sure you're fishing correctly. So we're all good. Hey, we'll catch you in and catch fish. Go. Hey, got our first one on a rattle reel. It's a perch, but it's a fish. All right. Hey, hey, we broke the curse. Yeah. <laughs> all right. First Rapper Red Lake walleye. That's a good eater. Uh, we'll be putting him in the frying pan here just a little bit. So got him on a uh, rattle reel on a dead stick. So uh, really nice fish. So, all right, we're on the board. Good morning, it's day two, uh, day and a half. Uh, it is our second, uh, first morning here, second day. We got here, we got out in the, in the house about, oh, one or two o'clock in the afternoon. We finally got fishing about 2.30. And uh, so what we've been finding is they're hitting on the dead sticks or what they call, they have rattle wheels up here. And uh, <clears throat> so they want a natural presentation, they're really finicky. We probably missed six fish uh, through the night and uh, we got several. Um, but it's really cool, so I want to kind of show you our setup a little bit. But first, I want to show you that's how we keep our milk cold right there, and that's that's our fish bag that our, our live well in it as well. Uh, okay, take you on a little quick tour of the house here. This is the uh, the bathroom, so not much special. That's a bucket for you know what. Um, nice stove, uh, really heats this place up too when you're cooking. Um, so I got a bait bucket, an aerator going. This is a rattle wheel. And real simple presentation. Uh, I'll reel one up for you here. Let me get in this one. They've been hitting really light. I mean, it's really simple. All we're doing is putting a split shot and uh, fat heads or rainbows. I got a rainbow on this one right here. Trying that this morning. But just uh, either, I think the color hook doesn't really matter. Somebody was telling me that um, red hooks are the, the key, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's the issue. So uh, we've got some with yellows, some with white, pink, and red. 
So we've got our four four lines down for two people. So there's two two lines per person. Uh, we did get a check by the by the DNR last night, so we're of course we're legal, no big deal. They just want to check, make sure everybody's got their license. Um, you kind of see other setup. It's really nice. Sit back here. We'll probably put the table down sometime today, but yeah, all the I threw everything at them like yesterday that I could, but they really just want that simple presentation of a uh, just a minnow. That's what they're doing. They're out predator, predator fishing. And they're out. That's what they do. That's what predators do. So. Uh, well, we got fish in the bag. We had fish last night for supper. We caught a bunch of perch too, which was really cool as a bonus for us. Uh, we had a pike on last night. And he took off with that thing like a rocket. Uh, couldn't get him to to lock up. He just didn't get in the uh, in it very well. But hey, this consummate outdoorsman. We're having a great time up at Red Lake. First City Guide uh, Chaz and uh, Corbin is his assistant. They come out and our generator froze up last night. And uh, but. The way they have it set up here is the heat uh, runs on batteries as well. So we were just fine all night long. We fished and slept and had a good time, just ate and we had fish and potatoes and onions. And so life is good. Hey, we'll catch you when we catch the next fish on the old rattle reel. See you later. Well, good morning. Hey, it's day three and uh, well, two and a half, I think. <laughs> But man, we're having a great time. Uh, I kind of said to you once again, you can see I'm sitting in my my bed and I'm fishing. How good is this? It's not bad outside. I think it's like uh, five, 10 degrees, something like that out there. Wind's not blowing at all, but we still got still a high pressure system and uh, it's bright bluebird day, very little clouds. So uh, you can kind of see down there on the flasher, we've been just jigging. We've caught them on jigging wraps. Oh, we got a fish, we got a fish, we got a fish, we got a fish. Here you go, Gene, catch this. Come on, fish. So the big key here is we let them take it. We died. Huh? No, it didn't die. You're okay. Nope. So that's that's kind of what they've been doing is they've been just hitting it real light, sucking on it. Well, that's kind of how the bite's been. They've been so light right now. And uh, um, that's kind of the issue that we're having is the bite is just absolutely light. But hey, we'll see what happens. Hey guys, we're back out here. Uh, it's day three. And uh, I'm out here with Corbin. Corbin is works for First City Guide, and uh, he's out here been just busting his butt. And so you kind of see their operation, what they have. So all kinds of you know, extra propane tanks, gas, um, all their see the First City Guide, the top of the line outfitter. They've got satellite dishes with Dish TV yes, sir. in every one of them. Yep, so network. this is your rig that you run, yep. right? How many houses do you guys have in your fleet? 11. 11 houses. Yeah. So I see you're jacking uh, several of them up out there and getting ready to move. Yeah, yeah. We're just, well, it's, it's not necessarily moving. I'm just getting them off the ice while they're still warm because when I turn the heat off, otherwise they'll freeze and the frames will freeze the ice. It's a lot easier to just jack them up right when they're still warm. Really? Yep, yep. So I, whether I move them or not, you know, I can. it's easy to put them right back down if I decide to leave them there. Okay. You can just jack them up and then uh, when they're still warm so that way you're okay. not freezing them to the ice and making it harder on yourself. Right on. So how often do you guys move locations? Uh, we basically, you know, right now with the way the fishing's being, we're just we're still trying to find, you know, a mass majority of the okay. fish. And so we're just chasing them right now. But, I mean, once we're on them, we'll just bump houses here or there, you know, bump a house over 10, 20 feet. Right. But um, we'll move it as we need to. You know, we're not going to sit on a stale bite. So. Okay. So, like I said, you know, we, we got a uh, total of 17 walleye so far since we've been here since Tuesday. And, and they got seven perch and then three pike, all the dinky pike. What is, is it, 44 inches to keep a pike? Um, anything 30 to 40 has got to go back. 30 to 40 has got to go back, but anything under or over can keep? Yep. Really? Okay, so we could have kept those other ones, but... Yeah, know, the small ones, you know, yeah. by the time you get the wide bone out of them, you don't get too much. Right, right. Them. But no, there's, some people like keeping them, but yeah, yeah. the big, big ones... From 30 to 40. 30 to 40 has got to go back. Got to go back. Okay, very cool. So, I mean, like I said, this is... this, And this is your house that you stay in. Yep. This is what you live in. Yep, yep. Okay. All winter long, go home a couple days. Nice. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, how long you been doing this? 
Well, this is my first year on Red working with Chaz okay. here with First City, but I've been on Lake of the Woods for a few years now. Not running ice castles, just running skid shacks. So this is actually an upgrade for me. Nice. Very good. All right, guys. Well, like I said, you know, this is a heck of an operation that, that Chaz has out here. And, um, you know, Corbin's just been absolutely our, the best. I mean, he checks on us twice a day, keeps us with fuel. Um, you know, everything's just fantastic. Like I said, you know, they got a, an Arctic Cat uh, Ranger out here with side by side and their trailer that they use for that's all that's trash so and then they'll have to make trash runs out here so you kind of see everybody's way out there and there's a rock pile out that way isn't there yep yep that's just that's just kind of the rock pile on this right lake over right there. on so you can kind of see it's just it's a big operation and then way way out that way is center bar isn't it yes sir yeah five miles five miles out five miles that way and then it's perfectly right in the middle just 10 miles across the other side yeah right now so the people that was in this shack right over here uh they left today didn't they yep they well they're they're actually out there right now they just packed up their stuff they okay their snowmobiles up center bars they did pretty good out there yesterday yeah right on yeah. yeah all right so the deal is with upper red uh after december the first they had uh you your slot limit went down to 17 and above um you can't you can only keep one that's 17 or above so it was really nice is they put us right on a good spot uh we've been looking at the camera and there's rocks and stuff all around where we're at underneath our house there's a bunch of rocks yep, just which is cool standard rubble rock. yep yep which is really really a nice thing uh we've caught a bunch we caught our two per day uh overs for one per person so uh but everything else has been under so hey we've had a great time we're going to be going out tomorrow morning we'll leave it out uh we'll be out we've got to go back and so it's a about an 11 hour drive for us back home so Hey, we'll catch you guys later. Uh, hopefully, we can get on some fish tonight. Supposedly, the, the temperatures dry, uh, rising, yeah, and then the pressures. The, we got a little bit of snow coming in, so that might make them put on the feed bag. You got it. All right, guys. Hey, hopefully, we can get some fish on the, on the camera. See you in a little bit. Oh, we got one on the rattle wheel. All right, we get reeled up here. So you got to be really careful with these. I mean, this, the bite has been so light. Want to get this up here really easy? Oh, there he is. That's a good fish. That's nice. Yep. There we go. All right. Good deal. All right. Look at there. Hey, that's a nice little walleye. Upper Red Lake. That's what we're looking for. Uh, the under 17s. Because anything 17 and over, we got to put back except for one uh, per day per person. So, hey, this is going to be great for the frying pan. All right. We got one on film. All right. Gene got one. Woohoo. <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Nice job, Gene. Yeah. That's an over. But that's oh, a good one. That's oh, a good fish. Gene's got a fish there. That one there's uh, 18 and a half inches. So we got to put him back. So she's going to release him. Let him grow and go. Yeah. Keep tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Very good. Keep him tight. Yeah, that's a good eater right there. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's an under. Very nice. Way to go, Gene. Woohoo. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, all right, got Gene out here. We It's our last morning. It's Friday morning. We had a great trip. Last night, we got our limit. Uh, we got two overs and then two little perch as well. So that was a big bonus. And we got our six. But, you know, it's fantastic what we've done. We've been able to experience something that, you know, it's not very rare, not very often that we get to do this. But um, just absolutely fantastic. What a fun time this was. Staying in, in a limited edition ice castle made by Smoky Hills. Yep. And this is, I love camping in my ice castle fish house. So good times. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, let's get some more viewers on this as well. I promise I'll be doing some more videos this winter and then into next year. Looking forward to a great 2020 and more ice fishing. We'll catch you guys later.